Give up the guns, it's great for crime, come on. What you worried about? This is what, uh, this is what is gonna happen in America if they're able to steal our guns from us. It's going on right now in, in Britain, the UK. Half of those on Liverpool Care Pathway never told. Almost half of dying patients placed on the controversial Liverpool Care Pathway are never told that life-saving treatment has been withdrawn. A national audit has found. Ooh, it gets even worse than that, though. Um, you see, uh, the first line, first line of this article by Laura Donnelly is being reported at the telegraph.co.uk. Uh, the study suggests that in total around 57,000 patients a year are dying in NHS hospitals without being told that efforts to keep them alive have been stopped. Th that's just the, the ones that they didn't tell. Uh, in total, they stopped uh, trying to keep alive 130,000 patients per year that are dying. They just, they just go, oh, well, it's too much effort, too much cost. We just let this one die. And 130,000 of them are dying like that. But of that 130,000, 57,000, they're not even bothering to tell them that your care has been cut off. Not only are they not bothering to tell them that their care has been cut off, they're not even giving them uh, anti-pain drugs. They're not giving them painkillers while they're laying there in agony. Yeah, it's uh, the second line of this article. It says, uh, it also reveals that thousands of dying patients have been left to suffer in pain with no attempt to keep them comfortable no drugs were administered yeah so you know they um, they pretty much engineered this whole thing in in the United States already Obamacare you know they got this already uh, I'll include a link to this article also in the info in this video uh, General Accounting Office Health and Human Services already rationing enrollment in Obamacare's pre-existing condition plan so you know at uh, you know that was the big sale point for Obamacare you know that's what got everybody convinced that oh he loves us he's gonna take care of us you know he doesn't even care that we're already broken and you know we can't afford to get health insurance because we got pre-existing conditions. Obama doesn't care. He loves us. And, um, yeah, so it turns out that they are now rationing it because they run out of money. And so uh, now they're turning people down. This was being reported in May of 2013. Uh, they apparently stopped enrolling people in February of 2013. So you know, if you had a pre-existing condition, but you didn't go right in and buy some health care and... Uh, you know, as of February 2013, you can't get health care with a pre-existing condition anymore. Yeah, apparently, you know, that's something that they had routed through the government so they could shut it down. Uh, they didn't make it so that private insurers are, that they are disallowed from, from turning people down for pre-existing conditions. You know, it would be like one line of legislation to establish that. Yeah, it'd be another line of legislation to um, to ensure that the the rate that they receive is fair. You know, that uh, they, they do not pay more than what it is that they um, you know, they uh, cost you know their their health care in total ultimately you know yeah uh, I would say you know if they do then you know they uh, their survivors should get a refund
Yeah, there was one other thing here I wanted to show you, which is um, it's got something to do with the IPAB, the Independent Payment Advisory Board. Here it is. Um, Obamacare's IPAB. When government takes over health care, you become a budget item. And uh, I'll just read the blurb from this. As a physician, I would like to make you aware of the Independent Payment Advisory Board, or IPAB, a key element of the administration's federal takeover of medicine. IPAB is a board consisting of 15 unelected, appointed bureaucrats whose task it is to cut the growth of Medicare spending and the cuts they are mandated to make will be deep. The decisions IPAB makes behind closed doors can only be overturned by a supermajority of Congress, something almost impossible to achieve. They made uh, one of these boards to determine what uh, private health insurance is going to cover also, and it's called... Um, oh, this is the one that I had to look up. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm in the process of looking this up right now. I just forgot what the the acronym that it's called is. Anyhow, yeah, they, they set up this board, unelected, uh, appointed bureaucrats, that it is their job to determine what you get in your private health insurance. And they are nixing all kinds of preventive care and uh you know unless you pay some exorbitant fee then uh you don't there's like um you know like you don't get anything but just absolute basic care and the doctors they won't even tell you about the options that you have just what would cure you or or heal you or you know, fix your condition they won't even tell you about what it is that you could do because uh, they like you, you're going to them with a certain insurance code and they know that if it's not covered by the insurance then they are not to tell you about it uh, there was a doctor that testified before Congress and he said that uh, doctors are now allowed only to uh, they're not allowed to ask any questions uh, and unless you have a specific complaint that you bring to them then they are only allowed to uh, take your heart rate uh, listen with a stethoscope to your heart and you know, just these uh, I think oh blood pressure take your blood pressure and then other than that then uh, you know the primary care physicians if they do anything beyond that and you haven't brought to them a specific complaint then uh, they are in violation of uh, the the mandate from the insurance company and uh, they the bill will not be covered if they start asking you questions, if they're like, "Oh, I noticed you got this mole hair on your back," you know that looks like it might be uh, that looks like it might be cancer, you know that might um, you know grow into your bloodstream and wind up with uh, you know, brain cancer. So, you know, we should get that checked out. And um, you know, in, instead of the doctor be able to do that based on his observation of whatever it is, unless you have a specific complaint then the doctor is not to do anything but listen with the stethoscope, take your heart rate and your blood pressure, and then you're out the door. And, you know, even, um, you know, he, he, he can't just ask you questions, basic questions to find out, you know, if there's something that might you know, uh, reveal that you're having a, a, health, uh, a health dysfunction that there's something that needs to be repaired about your health condition. Yeah, anyhow, I'm gonna find out what this other board's name is, and when I do, I will put that in the in the info on this video also. So there should be a link there to uh, another article about a board uh, that is set up by Obamacare, which is to manipulate private health insurance. So. Like, if you go on one of these cheap plans that you can get through the exchanges of the Obamacare Administration's Affordable Care Act, um, 
then uh, you you will get this like this low down plan, which gives you absolutely no coverage of anything. You know, like if if you think you need your heart listened to by a doctor on a regular basis, then you will be all set. And for anything else, you are screwed.